This is part two of the tutorials dealing with health bars, health player lives, and dynamically changing the score. Player lives is a very simple thing to do, and I'm going to show you how to control that through variables. If you've already downloaded the Space Forage GMK file, go ahead and open the lives, skill, and score, lives, skills, score variable. You notice that this object doesn't have a graphic associated with it and is placed in the top left corner of the player map. So this is the function that controls all these different aspects of this of this game. For one thing, here's the lives right here. Under the create event, I made a variable called lives left and set it to three because I wanted three lives. Now, unlike the health bars that I have in here which are separate for each player. The live function is is for both players collectively. So anytime a player dies, it just it m subtracts from the pool of lives that are left. And as soon as the lives hit 0, which is controlled under the step event, if live left is smaller than 1, meaning 0, then it sets the score and it shows the high score table and it ends the game. So create that uh lives event and set it to whatever you wish and now you just have to create a way for the player to die so let's go under our plane and see how this player is dying and that too is controlled under the step event if hit points which we've explained in the first tutorial is smaller than one we're gonna create an explosion and we're gonna set this variable and this is the key the variable we're going to set is under the lives kill score object right here. I know that's a crazy name for it. It might be easier to type something else there. But so under that object and under the variable, put a little dot. The variable is lives left. Remember? Then we're going to subtract that by one and it's going to be relative. Relatives mean that it doesn't go to negative one, it minuses one. So therefore we die. It's minus is from the live kill. Goes down to two. This is visually represented on the screen in the draw event. After creating add event, draw, after creating a draw event, we're gonna execute a piece of code found under the control tab. And the code is gonna be very fairly simple. The only one that we need to pay attention to, to right now is the lives. We're going to draw a text color at this location, X and Y. I named it lives equal and I made a little space to have some distance. And then plus, we're going to add this string, which is our string variable, lives left. Remember, it could be whatever you named it. And then we're going to give it the color of white. It's all going to be white. It could be a rainbow color if we want, but I want it all white. And so every time we die, it'll, um, in real time, you'll be able to see your amount of lives. And as soon as you die, the game ends. I hope this helps. Um, you have the file to download, and good luck.